Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? It's Len and welcome to my channel. For most of you, welcome to my usual filming spot. Most of you have come here from the Japanica series and do not know this. So welcome to Brussels, welcome to my home. <laughs> and of course to all of you, welcome to the bonus footage of the Japanica series. Today will be my Japan haul. So some of the things I brought back with me from Japan. Now this is the second time I filmed this footage. The first time I filmed it was the day after I got back home from Japan. I was clearly exhausted, jet lagged and the video was a little too long and a little too rambly for my taste so I'm reshooting it now and I had to go collect all the items around the house that I could still find. Some of them, well actually a good part of them I either already used or gave away as gifts to my friend and family but I still have the footage from the video I filmed before this so I'll be including shots here and there. So shopping in Japan wasn't my first priority. The first thing was really explore and discover and that's what I did but I couldn't stay away from stores. They were everywhere with so many interesting, cute slash different things and I was overwhelmed. I just wanted to buy everything but I was traveling on a budget so I kind of made a list of some of the things I wanted to buy before I left, some of the stores I really wanted to see. Some of them were Daiso, Don Quixote, the Pokemon Center, um, I wanted to get some tea um, and then I left a budget for small trinkets and souvenirs and a lot of the random things that I ended up buying just because I was a little overwhelmed by everything that was there. So the things I bought I think will end up just being in the it's too cute not to buy category we don't have this in Belgium category or it was on my list before I left category and probably a fourth one which is just I don't know why I bought this but I did <laughs> so one of my very first days in Tokyo episode 3 I think of the Japaniku series I went to Asakusa and there was a really big Don Quixote there the way I would describe Don Quixote to someone who does not know what it is it's a huge department store type thing but where you can just buy anything and everything that's how I would describe it and since it was one of the first big stores I went to I was like <laughs> I wanted everything I just wanted to test out everything and buy everything and I was worried that I wouldn't find it anywhere else and I just had to get it all so I bought a lot of things that day and most of the things were more in the beauty cosmetic health department so let's go through some of those things right now some of them I've already used as I've mentioned or given away as gifts but here are some that I have with me right now but Don Quixote I loaded up on a bunch of face cares body cares and even foot cares believe it or not so um, these are all I have left I've used up everything else I bought a bunch of hydrating mouth patches I also bought a bunch of funny face masks that I gave away to friends and family that was really funny when I got their pictures back wearing them I got some um, um, hydrating foot bags. I still haven't really figured out what they were supposed to do. I thought they would make my feet peel and get rid of all the dead skin but I think it might have just been like a home pedicure thing. I also bought these refreshing leg patches which I got because after the plane and from walking in Tokyo all day I could not get my legs to go back to their normal size. They were just so swollen and painful and achy and these really helped. You just put them on your legs and it just feels really refreshing and cool. It really helped with the swelling with them and with my tired legs at the end of the day it was just really cool. I also got some makeup by Don Quixote um, but looking back now I think I only got them because it was really cute. I got this lip balm thing with this little bunny. I found out later that if I recall the series called My Melody or something and it was everywhere and it was just really really cute. So I got this and then I got from the same collection this ear scrape thing of all things and I got this hand sanitizer though I think this was from an actual My Melody store. I don't even know the names of these characters so if you want to teach me go ahead. One of the things that was recommended to me to buy while I was Don Quixote was an eyelash curler. This one is a Shiseido one and I can finally stop saying during my makeup videos oh this is the point where you need to curl your eyelashes but I can't because I don't have an eyelash curler. Now I do. So while I'm still in the makeup cosmetic uh, category. I did also go to Etude House. I got a few um, blackhead pore cleaning uh, little strips and it was really cool to use. I put that in another video that I still have to edit. Um, but obviously I used it up and the designs of the packaging there is always so so cute. It 
didn't want to throw it away but that was one of the things i did at Jude house it's a korean brand i'm pretty sure we don't have it here so that's what I did and while I was there I really wanted to buy a lipstick which is the color I am wearing now I asked the lady for her recommendations and she showed me that particular kind of lipstick this was a shade she was wearing herself so I thought you know what let's just try that one the only thing though was that I didn't buy the packaging they sold like really design cute colorful um, packages for these and I thought that if I didn't buy one it was okay because I thought it would still come into a normal one but it just ended up looking very bare it's usable and everything but now I wish I would have splurged on an actual colorful thing <laughs> I think those are the main things I bought in that category I may have used some up already and don't remember them I think it also in Daiso I got a few hair accessory things like clips that looked really bright and colorful or had like a traditional feel or design to it so the next thing, I don't really know how to explain why I acquired these products but uh, in, in stores like Daiso and Don Quixote they were selling a lot of uh, fabrics like these I expect that these are used to to wrap gifts or bento boxes but the designs were just too darn cute and I bought a bunch of them you'll see a recurring theme here with little cute animals um, this one is a rabbit one that I got from Daiso I got this one from Don Quixote which had little cranes and rabbits and sakura flowers and it, the palette was just really really gorgeous again I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these um, and this one has little cats and flowers oh yes I just had to get them, they were just catching my eye and were so beautiful and yeah and after purchasing these I realized that I could get a really cute handkerchief to bring back with me as a souvenir so I started looking all over for the perfect handkerchief design and after having seen a multiple amounts of cute patterns already I was really picky and I wanted to find the one that was right for me so I went through a bunch of stores, souvenir stores all throughout my trip to Japan and on the last day I thought you know what this is not gonna happen I'm gonna find I'm gonna buy the next one that I really like whether it's the one or not and I ended up purchasing this one, which also has cute cats and flowers, just in a slightly different way, and a really cute pink. So I thought this was my handkerchief, but behold! <laughs> this one I bought at an onsen in Hakone, and a little later on my Hakone stay, I went to Uwakudani, which is a volcanic valley, and I found the one, which is this one. Which is not a handkerchief per se, it's more like a little hand towel, because it's got this little fabric but yeah, I, I had to buy it even though I had found what I thought was going to be the handkerchief I found the, the actual handkerchief so yes, I end up getting a whole bunch of <laughs> beautiful prints let's just say it like that I bought some beautiful prints back with me from Japan and I'm really happy I just don't know what I'm gonna do with all of them yet this kind of falls into the fabric category and you've seen me wear this but I got this at Daiso after my umbrella tragically died in hurricane land <laughs> in Osaka I got this from Daiso for 300 yen and here these type of things cost like 12 euro which would be 1200 yen ish so it was still going to rain a little during my stay and I didn't want to purchase an umbrella and just have to leave it there and I have to go back so I purchased this little hat and it kept me warm it was really cute and I still wear it almost every day to the day so it was a really good purchase it's starting to get all these little holes unfortunately but for 300 yen it was really cool also from Daiso I got this little cat headband which I had to have it. You've seen me use it in one of my videos where I have the fox face mask on and I got this to hold my hair back. I use it almost every day to do my face care. I don't know how I lived so long without having this in my life because I love it. I also bought a bunch of stationery in Japan. I got a bunch of lining pans and felt tip pans because I thought I was going to have more time for sketching which didn't really end up happening. I was just running all over the place all the time. But I now have a bunch of professional looking pens. I bought them at Animate. For the most of them I bought them at Animate. I also bought some washi tape that I used to, to decorate my travel uh, journal. And all of these I can put inside my little Pokemon pouch that I got from the Pokemon Center in... I think this one I got in the Tokyo Pokemon Center. And it's really, really cute. I love it. I hesitated for a long time because they have so many cute pouches. 
and I'm happy with my choice. Born Stationery I also got this sketch pad which I didn't end up using unfortunately but I am using it now. I've been drawing in it and I also got these little cat post-its which are really adorable. And I also use this in my travel journal. While I'm on the subject of the Pokemon Center, let us go really quickly through what I bought because I think I already showed you guys for the most part because I didn't really buy a lot. I got the stationary little pouch thing, I got a bunch of Pokemon cards which I just... opening them was like going back into my childhood. And I got some gacha which I think you already saw but in case you didn't, I got this sleeping Bulbasaur, I got this really funky Gengar, I got a flying Mew. This one I have to hold together because it's a little complicated. There you go, see that he's falling already. This one I think you saw, it's from the Hiroshima Pokemon Center. I got a Ditto and I don't remember the English name for the guy. And French is Magneti. And finally this one I got as a bonus at the checkout. It's little Eevee with one of its Eeveelution, which I don't know the name of, but yeah. One of the things I was hoping to buy in Japan was a phone case for my iPhone 5S because I can't really find cute cases for it here in Belgium so I was hoping to find a really cute one in Japan unfortunately finding phone cases under the iPhone 7 was a little bit of a challenge but I still managed to find a few I got this Pikachu one which I immediately fell in love with though I quickly realized that because of its ears taking it in and out of my pocket was a little bit annoying especially since I was taking selfies and photos and looking at my map so I decided to purchase this really simple one just this really basic rose gold I got this little uh, hook thing in a gacha and it turned out to be really useful to take photos and film and do my insta stories and everything and after this one i found this towards the end of my trip which is the one i'm wearing i'm wearing which is the one i'm sporting on my phone right now is an pink eye face and i saw that everybody had an eye face case in japan so i had to have an eye face <laughs> and now I have variety to choose from. Another thing I really wanted to get while I was in Japan, and I can't really explain why, I used to read a lot of manga during my teenage years, and I think it's thanks to manga that I really got into drawing and art and storytelling, and I think through manga I really found a lot of my passion for Japan and the Japanese language so I really wanted to buy some of my favorite manga in its original language so I went to, I remember pronouncing it incorrectly during my vlogs Mandarake? was it? I think that was it and I bought a bunch of manga some I already gave away to my family but for myself I got Nana and I got Death Note which are two manga that I still own behind me so I have the Japanese versions and the French versions and I'm hoping these will be learning books one day for me to be better at reading and learning Japanese and yeah. Tea was also something I really wanted to bring back from Japan and all throughout my stay I tried different teas like those you could buy kombini and vending machines and also more traditional teas when I was staying in inns and hotels and all these random places so I went to a tea shop that was recommended to me which is called Lukisha I don't remember exactly where it was for some reason. I can't remember if it was in Osaka or Hiroshima. All I know is that it was close to one of those covered arcade things. And uh, I asked for a green tea recommendation, which ended up being the Sencha Chiran, which is really strong, I find, because I'm not used to drinking it anymore like I used to in Japan. My taste buds have already reverted back to my <laughs> weak European taste buds. And I also got a flavored tea, which is the Kotobuki. I can't read any of this, but um, from, from drinking it, it's very flowery. And I find it a little on the sweet side, so I don't know if, it's, if there's a sweetener in there. But these are the two little teas I bought, and I felt really proud of myself for going into that store and, you know, asking for things. Okay, let's finish with some little bits and pieces. I got this little uh, coin purse. This actually ended up being really useful because you acquire a lot of change after a while in Japan and some of the change is really hard to use once you've acquired it. So I put all my tiny change into this little pouch and ended up using most of it at temples and shrines. But look how 
cute it is! Unfortunately, I ended up not going to the Ghibli Museum because the tickets got sold out way too fast for me to get them. But fortunately for me, there were little stores here and there around Japan. These two I got in Kyoto. So I got this little uh, plastic Totoro, which is now living next to my cacti. And I got this little fella, which is I think in porcelain, and it came with a little charm inside, which is now... Hang on hanging from my phone is this little rose quartz little charm thing now i'm usually not the type to buy theme souvenirs for each area for some i just couldn't resist for example i got this in hiroshima at the peace memorial at the peace memorial museum that part of my trip really touched me the history and i just i wanted something to remember it by and i also got it's it's still it's on my actual keychain i got this little tengu from when I went to Kibune and Kurama up in the mountains yeah it was really funky so I wanted to get it and it now lives on my keys so those were some of the things I bought for myself but I think at least half of my budget actually went into buying gifts to my friends and family and taking it back with me. Some of the gifts I bought and that I actually would recommend you buying if you're looking to bring back souvenirs for a lot of people at once, I suggest you go to Daiso and stock up on chopsticks, on fans, on... I got some stationery like cute pens with a lucky cat or a shoot again on top. What else did I get? Things that you can't really get outside of Japan. I've got some uh, oil blotting papers for the face. I got some of those really cute food erasers. I got a bunch of those and everybody was really happy and it felt good bringing gifts for everyone. I also bought a whole bunch of Kit Kat flavors, like all the flavors I could find. I bought them and gave them away to my friends and family. I also made a Kit Kat taste test video that you can find in my Japaniku playlist. I feel like those are the main things I bought back with me from Japan. I may have forgotten a few things. Uh, from the top of my head, I did buy some revision cards, I did buy some hand warmers, like the ones you shake and keep your hand warm. I did also buy those, um, those masks that I wore in some of my videos, I brought some of that back with me because I really enjoy the feeling of being all warm and protected, though I haven't worn one since I came back. <laughs> okay guys, hope you enjoyed this little bonus type video of the Japanic series. I still have a few more coming your way, so I hope you'll stick around and watch them. Let me know down in the comments what things I may have missed out during my trip to Japan, things that you really need to get if you're traveling there, things that were great, great as souvenirs. Be sure to let me know what type of things I should check out next time I come to Japan. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye! I L word you all. And we all know people who have lots of mis-